Hello everyone, this is Shweta. Today I am going to explain you about the CMOS AND gate and its schematic and its waveforms in Cadence Virtuoso tool. So for that, first we need to open the Cadence Virtuoso tool and here click on the terminal. Next here a dialog box will appear. Now here we need to type as virtuoso ampersand and click on enter then a pop-up window appears and the cadence virtuoso tool will be opens after tool opening just click on this file and click on this new and library give one library name and here the technology file should be attached to an existing technology library and click on apply and ok here we need to select the gpdk90 apply and ok Next, click on this file, click on new again, go to cell view. Now here you need to change the library as the name which you have given before. So I have given AB, so for that we need to search. And in the cell name I am giving as and and the weave should be schematic and the type should be also schematic. Click on OK. Now here the schematic window will be appears. After appearing the schematic window, click on this symbol, create instance and click on browse. And in the uh, library we need to select the GPDK90 library. And here select the PMOS and click on the symbol. As the AND gate is the combination of the PMOS and NMOS, so the PMOS should be connected in parallel and the NMOS should be connected in series in the AND gate. So we need to connect the PMOS in parallel. So connect these PMOS in parallel and NMOS. For NMOS, you need to connect in series. So click on the NMOS and connect them in series. And we need to connect this output to the CMOS inverter. So for that we again need the one PMOS, one NMOS. one PMOS and one NMOS now give the connections using the connecting wires so as the PMOS should be connected in parallel give the connection in parallel for PMOS and the NMOS should be connected in series and here also it should be connected to VDD This body terminal should also be connected to the VDD. And here, 
so this gate should be shorted so cmos inverter and this output should be connected to the input of cmos inverter to get the and gate and here these this terminal should be connected to the ground for n mos and the body terminal should be also connected to the ground so this n mos so this p mos should be connected to the vdd so i am giving i am shorting all those next this should be connected and here we will gonna take the output of the and gate so this is the output and again we need to take the inputs also so so this is the terminal a oh shit if you want to delete click on select it and click on d or you can click on this and click on backspace also for deleting the wire and for that after that you need to connect this to a terminal this is a input and this will be the another input b this should be also shorted over here and we need to give the vdd ground and input output connections so for that go to browse again and click on this analog library now click here vdd so the vdd symbol appears over here next close and hide it and give the vdd over here and the same way ground also so give the ground over here and we need to give the input so that so in the cell you need to select the v pulse so for the v pulse so this is the input and here again we need to take the ground for the a input and this is the b input so for the b input also we need to take so same b pulse and the ground so we need to give the ground over here and we need to connect this v pulse to the b input and after connecting we need to give the pins so for that click on this symbol create pin and give the inputs so inputs are a and b so i'm giving the pin names as a and b and the direction is input so click on hide 
and give the inputs over here so this is the a and this is b now we need to also select the output over here so for that again click on create pin and the pin name should be output i am giving the output as y and the direction should be changed over here that should be output and click on hide and place over here so after that you need to give the inputs so press over here click on q next we need to give the inputs so the voltage should be as it is 90 nanometers so we need to give the voltage as 1.2 and the period is i am giving as 80 nanoseconds and the pulse width as 40 nanoseconds so pulse width should be half of this period and here the delay i am giving as 0.01 pico rise time fall time and the delay time as same and click on apply and okay next for the input b click on over there and press q and same for that also we need to give the voltage as 1.2 and the period should be uh, now i'm giving as 40 nanoseconds and the pulse width is 20 nanoseconds and i'm giving the delay times so that is of 0.01 pico same for the rest of the conditions also for rise time fall time and the delay time so click on apply and okay so now we need to also give the vdd so for that take the vdd and place over here and now we need to select the view dc so this is the uh, in supply for the whole circuit and here it should be ground and click on q over here and here the dc voltage should be 1.2 which we have given the voltage so this is the voltage to the whole circuit so click on apply and okay so after drawing the circuit schematic so first we need to check and save it so click on this if any errors are present it will shows so there are no errors but there is a one warning we need to check where is the warning okay here we did not connect it to the ground so it is showing the warning so click on this wire and connect this body terminal to the ground so after connecting again click on check and save so there are no errors now we can proceed for the outputs so click on launch adel and here in the analysis choose so the analysis should be transient analysis so we need to give the stop time i am just giving the stop time as uh, 100 nanoseconds and click on this moderate and here the enable symbol should be enabled and click on apply and okay so after selecting the transient analysis now we need to select the inputs and outputs so for that click on the setup outputs now from schematic we need to select the inputs so that is a a is one input and this b is one input and the output is y so after selecting that click on apply and okay next we can run it so here the status is showing as successful so after uh, showing the status and successful so the output will be running so we have got the waveforms so uh, right click and the split current strip and trace it 
so give this one as right click and make it as thick so click on the waveform and right click and click on width and make it as thick so for better visibility so these are the waveforms of the AND gate so when uh, the AND gate will be high when both the inputs are high in the rest of the all conditions the output will be low so for that we'll be verifying so the input is A input is high and the B input is also high so the Y which is the output is also high up to here till here next if the input is high and the output is low sorry in the, uh, the input is high and the B input is low then the output will be low and here the A input is low and the B input is high then the output is zero low and A input is low and B input is also low then the output will be low so in this case the AND gate is when both the inputs are high then only the output will be high in all the rest conditions the output will be low so this is about the AND gate schematic and its outputs if you like my video please share like and subscribe thank you